a project proposal to promote differentiation in classrooms by addressing day-to-day -day needs of the learners in the LSUD. The primary goal of this research study is to actually uh, conduct a comprehensive evaluation of the specific unique needs of the students in a daily basis in the classroom. And it actually employs the differentiated teaching methods that we experience inside the classroom. This study will actually involve thorough examination of the various aspects of how a student learns, including their academic and social and emotional needs. This is to determine as well what is the most effective strategies for us to meeting these needs with differentiated classroom environment wherein students are all different from each other inside the classroom. Through this research, we hope to gain a deeper understanding of how us teachers, future teachers, can actually best support the students' needs in learning and also growth inside a differentiated classroom. Thank you. Statement of the problem. The study aims to evaluate the daily needs of learners in differentiated classrooms. Specifically, the study seeks to answer the following questions. How is contextualization related to differentiation within the classroom? Number two, what are the benefits of addressing students' needs in the classroom? Number three, how does the use of differentiation in the classroom promote diversity? Number four, what recommendations do teachers have for meeting students' needs? Creating a safe and low anxiety environment is essential to ensuring that the learners are receptive to the lessons being taught. Using differentiation in the classroom can help teachers identify the specific needs of each student and tailor their teaching approach accordingly. By taking this approach, teachers can prioritize the individual needs of their students and reduce the likelihood of problems arising. Ultimately, a teacher's ability to communicate effectively and implement differentiated instruction techniques can have a significant impact on the success of their students. So moving forward for the objective of our project proposal, first is we want to identify the various needs of the students, specifically their needs when it comes to their academics. And number two, we are going to consider the use of differentiation or the teaching approach um, techniques to meet the individual needs of the learners or the students. And number three, we are going to investigate or find the effects of differentiation techniques in the classroom as well as in the individual learning of the students. And for the last objectives, uh, we are going to confirm the benefits of differentiation in the classroom in real-world situations. So let's move on to the process of our project proposal. So first, we are going to conduct thorough research on differentiation in the classroom. And number two, we are going to identify the various needs of the learners on their day-to-day -day basis. And number three is to um, we are going to analyze how differentiation can be used to meet these needs. Or, and these are the identified needs of the students in the process number two. And number four, um, we are going as well to, and it is important as well to gather data and, and statistics um, on the successful implementation of differentiation in the classroom. And number five is we are going to evaluate the effectiveness of different methods in implementing differentiation. And number six, um, it is important as well to consider the potential challenges and limitations of implementing differentiation in the classroom. And number seven, we are going to develop a clear and structured outline for the essay. And for the last process, uh, we are going to write a well, um, well researched and thoughtful essay to promote um, differentiation in the classroom and meeting the day-to-day -day, um, needs of the learners or the students. So to conclude, we have eight um, steps in doing this project proposal and the steps will be useful for us proponent and for the beneficiaries and of, of course for the effectiveness of, in, of the implementation of this project proposal. And that's all. Thank you for listening everyone.